Hello, everybody. So today we're going to start with our E for C lesson. We are doing greetings part two. Greetings part two. Okay, let's get started. So our first one is nice and easy. It's just hello, hello. So one more time, hello. So our first one is hello. Let's have a look at our next one. Our next one is good morning. Good morning. One more time, good morning. This is the one you say when you wake up. So you're sleeping, you wake up, you say good morning. Good morning. Very good. Let's look at the next one. Our next one is good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. This one you say after lunch. So when you're done eating lunch, we say good afternoon. One more time. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Let's look at our next one. Our next one is good evening. Good evening. When it's dark outside and you can see the stars and the moon, we say good evening. Good evening. Okay, let's look at our next one. Our next one is how are you today? One more time. How are you today? And last time. How are you today? Let's look at our next one. Our next one is bye-bye. So when you're done having a conversation, we say bye-bye, bye-bye. And then we say have a nice day. So you'll say bye-bye, have a nice day. So one more time, have a nice day. So let's go over them all one more time. So first we have hello, hello. Next we have good morning, good morning. Next we have good afternoon, good afternoon. Next we have good evening, good evening. Next we have how are you today? One more time. How are you today? Next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. One more time. Have a nice day. Okay, so that was our E for C. Let's get into our phonics. Let's get our phonics. So please get your phonics book ready. Please get your phonics book ready, this guy. Please get your orange phonics book ready. And we're gonna do phonics. So phonics book. We are going to page 22 and 23. Page 22 and page 23, we are doing story time. Okay, let's do our story time. For story time, we need to listen and read. So let's get started. Okay, we're gonna click on number one. Hello, hippo. Hello, elf. So one more time. Hello, 
Hello, Hippo. Hello, Elf. Okay, we're gonna listen last time. Hello, Hippo. Hello, Elf. Okay, so let's read all together. So we have Hello, Hippo. One more time. Hello, Hippo. Then we have Hello, Elf. Hello, Elf. And in our pictures, we have a elf and our hippo. Okay, let's move on to our next one. Let's look at number two. Wrong one. My apologies. There we go. Number two. Look at my garden. One more time. Look at my garden. So we have, look at my garden. Look at my garden. Let's listen. Look at my garden. Okay, let's look. Let's go to number three. Let's go to number three. Oh, a fish. Oh, a frog. Let's listen one more time. Oh, a fish. Oh, a frog. So now let's read. So we have, ooh, a fish. Then we have, ooh, a frog. Let's read it one more time. We're going to read one more time. Ooh, a fish. Ooh, a frog. Let's listen one more time. Oh, a fish. Oh, a frog. Very good. Okay, let's go to number four. It is a funny frog. <laughs> so one more time. It is a funny frog. <laughs> okay, so it says it is a funny frog. So one more time. It is a funny frog. Okay, let's listen to our story one more time from the beginning. We're just going to listen. Hello, Hippo. Hello, Elf. Look at my garden. Oh, a fish. Oh, a frog. It is a funny frog. Okay, let's do the exercise. Exercise two, which is on page 23. So it says, what is in the hippo's garden? And we need to draw lines, we need to draw a line. So let's have a look first. First, we have a frog. 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 Next, we have a fish. 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 Next, we have a hen. 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 Next, we have an egg. 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 
And last we have a goat. 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 So what was in the hippo garden? Was a goat in the garden? No. What about our hen? Hen. Was the hen in the garden? No. What about the frog? Frog. Yes. So draw a line from frog to the lily pads. We're just going to draw a line with our pencil. And what about our fish? Fish. Was the fish in the garden? Yes, very good. So next, draw a line from your fish to the water. Okay. Next, students, we are going to go. We're going to go to our review and we are going to do review on page 24. A review on page 24, but just the top part. We're just going to do this part at the, at the top. Okay, so let's just do, we're just going to do number one. So number one says, circle the right letters. Say the letters and the sound. So let's have a look what we have here first. Number one. Frog. Number one is a frog. 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 Next, we have a hippo. 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 Next, we have an egg. 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 And last, we have a goat. 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 Now let's look at number one. Number one, we have E, F, G, H. And then we have G, H, E, F. Now we need to circle the capital and the lowercase. So let's start with the lowercase, which is the num letters at the top. So what letter is for frog? E, F, G, or H. Very good, it's F. F, F. Very good, F, which makes the F sound. And next we need to do our capital F. F, F. So we have F for frog. F for frog. Let's look at number two. Number two is a hippo. Hippo. Our letters are E, F, G, H. E, G, F, H. So let's start with our lowercase at the top. Our lowercase letter for hippo is H. H, H. Huh. H for hippo, H huh, for hippo. And then our capital. H, H. Huh. So next we have ha for hippo. So we have ha for hippo. Number three, we have the egg. 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 Let's look at our letters. So we have E, F, G, H. At the bottom, we have E, G, F, H. So let's circle the letter that starts with egg starting letter of egg it would be e e a which makes the e sound so e for egg and then next is to the capital e a so we have the e for egg e for egg our last one let's do the goat 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 let's look at our letters we have e f G H H E G F. So, what letter is for goat? Very good, it's G. G, G. So, we have G for goat. G, G. G for goat. So, let's go over them one more time. So, we have F for frog. Frog. H for hippo, so H for hippo. Hippo. F for egg. Egg. And G 
for goat. Goat. Okay, very good. That is our lesson for today. Thank you so much, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.